Hello traders out there in Traderland. This is the weekend edition. Good through Sunday, July 21st, 2013. My name's Dez. I'm the owner and founder of freetradingvideos.com, doing business as Grok Trade. And on Friday, Microsoft is all over the news, plunging 12%, which is the worst it's seen since 2000. And furthermore, Microsoft, it looked like a couple years ago it had a 90% buy rating by the analysts, and as of April 1st, 60%, so it went from 90 to 60. And as of right now, it's at 35% buy rating, which is big time low and it's plunging from that point on it's really sobering to see but I wanted to point something out look at this chart this is going back to about April and we do have a rise here some nice acceleration but this is a dropping of momentum this is a momentum rolling over and you'll see this with my trend lines and they've you can see that steep, not as steep, less steep, and pretty flat for the most part of going in that direction, putting us in a rising wedge and a breakdown on major volume. So this is a tough little uh, chart, and but it does tell us a story to see. We are below all major moving averages except for the 200-day moving average. We have a big gap here. Most gaps like to fill. I'm not sure if it's going to happen anytime soon. Matter of fact, because of the poor products and business moves that Microsoft's doing, I would venture to guess that chances of us seeing 36 level ever again or anytime soon is probably pretty slim. Let's take a look here. The S&P 500. Um, you'll see that I have a red line drawn coming up. That is one that we're watching like a hawk but you'll see that we're climbing we are decisively climbing above all major moving averages even the EMAs which are very quick so with that know that things that rise fast drop fast and that can be a reality and I want to share a couple of important things with you here's the weekly chart weekly chart you can see boom having an all-time high close huge huge movements that we're seeing on the markets and a lot of upside potential here and if you look at the monthly it's a little different I'm gonna zoom in so we can really look at this and always you can always click on full screen to look at this in high definition but check this out we have a green line support 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 here it's acting as support but that support is broken now it's resistance we're coming to that area before you can see that it acted as resistance a few months ago in in, in May and now we're here in July and we have that area could act as resistance. An area that I'm watching is 1219 or I'm sorry 1719. 1719 would put us about where that resistance line is but remember 1700s right here those dotted lines coming across that's gonna be resistance but um, 1719 big time. So be watching that the Dow, this is the monthly chart, resistance. Now, what we did was we had support here, support here, drew a line. Take this line. You can see that it matches that one. So what I did was I drew kind of a dummy line, put it on this swing, and look where we're at right now. It closed right at it. So this could be a big time area of resistance, and we're probably right at it right now. On the weekly chart, blow this up so you can see it we had a we had a high at 15541 and we close at 15543 I mean it's right at that area so we're at a resistance point if we can get past that in the next few weeks we can go higher on the daily there is my death line the red line coming up watching that like a hawk now NASDAQ we were saying closing out this week that especially on Thursday that we had a close below this line that we've been watching we said that is big time trouble a major drop today on or when I say today Friday on the Nasdaq the reason we had that Google came out and missed you have Microsoft coming out and missing so that was uh, problematic but we saw the tell 
Thursday when we had a close below that support line. On the weekly chart, everybody else is up, but not the NASDAQ in red territory and it's just stalling out before we can even get to resistance so here we had resistance resistance we're stalling we're having a hard time getting up there and then on the monthly chart upside potential but we're right here at this level of about 3600 and that could act as a resistance area so be watching 3600 as a turning point it quickly on the Russell's resistance coming up on the Russell's monthly um, the weekly, we're knocking at the door right here. That's going to push around 1065. 1065 is a resistance area. Be watching that. And remember the death line on all the other daily indices that we're looking at? Well, we finally have a close below that. Just like we saw Thursday on the NASDAQ, we're seeing, or um, yeah, on the NASDAQ, we're seeing that on small caps right now. So um, look for small caps to show some relative weakness. And then gold is smacking its head at resistance this can start to drop here or if we break out we could have buying opportunities silver make a little pop here off of a support line showing a little more strength and let's take a look at the banks the banks are on a tear heading straight up on the monthly though I want to show you something I'm looking at 2433 as an area of resistance that'd be something to be watching for and mark those down. Take a quick look at Google. Google it missed, but um, we drop, 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 but come right back. So uh, we have an opportunity if Google can catch its breath here. If we could maybe go higher and then take a look at Apple. A lot of people are interested in Apple. Problem is we have an area of resistance. We went up and touched and came right back down. This is looks like a little bear pullback. Could be a double bottom trend reversal pattern. So this, I would actually argue that we should have another line drawn right here. And if we could break out of that, that could be a buying opportunity. On the, you'll see here on the daily resistance, resistance, we close now. Uh, below this area of that should have been support and it's really not good you know what while I'm here I'll show you a couple trades on our list that we have um, this is one uh, this is an entry we went higher 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 actually this is one we are still considering a hold RHI was another one um, this one, a token entry added to the entry, and this one's taken off like fire. Um, this one is continued to be a hold. R O P mm, triangle breakout entry. We're still in this one, continue, um, and this is considered a hold. Anyway, we believe that any trader has the ability to make a killing in the markets and you can make a killing in the markets. There's a lot of money to be had out there. And one of the problems that we uh, see is some individuals have a hard time picking what stocks to be in. And they're having a hard time knowing where to enter, how to safeguard themselves once they're in the trade, where to exit to maximize profits. You know, there's a lot of decisions to make to make oneself profitable in the markets. But I'm here to tell you it can be done. And one thing that I would highly recommend that you do is check out our let me bring this over here so you can see it um, website if you want just to go th through six basic lessons um, put in your name here your email address and every two days you're going to get a video um, that will come to you directly but the thing I want to talk to you guys about is this go down to premium products do the 201 trading videos um, right here the 201s the these are some serious courses here and if you want help we're here to help you get signed up here take care safe trading share us with a friend you have the ability to share this on Facebook on Twitter on different social sites especially if you're an interactive um, trader and you're over at trade to win you know some of those great trading websites 
and if if you're at Scott Trade, uh, there's a bunch of different communities that are out there. Feel free to share this. I shared a lot of information, did it quickly. I think a lot of people um, would appreciate this level of trading education. So, hope all is well with you and yours. Thank you so much for being a part. We're humbled and blessed that you're a part of this growing community. Take care.